right, you guys, I appreciate everybody hopping on the call. We're gonna go ahead and get started right now. Um, you guys, I appreciate everyone getting on here. Um, it's been an amazing week, you know what I mean? By the way, everyone's wondering, Crixis is good so far. All right, so shout out to Crixis. Um, you know, my boy a little fucked up, but he's good. Excuse my language if this is your first call with me. But you guys, with that part being said, um, let's go ahead and rock it, right? Um, I wanna get straight into the nuggets tonight, straight into everything um, that we're gonna be going over and all that other stuff. Let me just make sure I got a good angle. Make sure I, okay, cool. Hold on, I want this gone, I don't wanna. Boom. Cool, so with that part being said, you guys, um, shit, I'm sorry, I'm messing up my thing. I'm messing up my camera, my bad, you guys. It's my first day, okay? It's my first day. Crixis, you would take that route. Actually, uh, can you just lock him in there? Give me one more second, guys. I'm, it's my first day. I'm sorry. How do I... How do I pin... How do I pin this? I mean, yeah. Oh, you can do that? Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Jose. Well, you'd think after all these years, I'd know how to do this shit, but... Okay, cool. Now I'm ready. All right, you guys. So what we're going to be going over is uh, taprooting today. So that part being said, if you don't know what taprooting is, um, with network marketing, right, we're never recruiting to something. We're, recru we're recruiting through, right? We're never recruiting to an event. We're, rec we're recruiting through an event, right? We're never recruiting to someone. We're, we're recruiting through someone, okay? And so taprooting is... The, okay, you got phase one, all right, which is the most important thing in your business, and then you got, right, tap rooting, which is about as equally as important because you do not want to get to the, uh, the point where it's only you working, right? You don't wanna get to the point where, when we're only relying on your network, right? So that's why it's called network marketing because we want to go through other people's networks. And so with that part being said, right, when we get someone started and all that other stuff, what we want to do is we want to tap root, right? We want to tap root. Okay? And I want to be really specific because I know that sometimes I assume everybody knows what I'm talking about and all that other stuff. So what tap rooting is, right, is it means I'm utilizing, I'm going through someone's network to get to somebody else. So hypothetically, let's look at Drake, right? Let's look at Drake, let's look at Jose, it doesn't matter. Let's use Jose, right? I love Jose, let's use Jose. So let's just say Jose um, knows Beyonce, okay? Well, I don't have to go to uh, Beyonce to get Beyonce to see the business. I can go through, right, Jose to talk to Beyonce. Now, Jose can essentially set up the call or whatever, so we're going through, right? And so what we wanna be doing is going through people. We're wanting to find a way to tap in to their market. That's why it's called a tap route. So we're finding a way to tap in to their market, right? So tap routing is tapping in. Tapping, I don't even know how to spell tapping, but whatever. Tapping in to, right, our newest person's market, right, or network, or network, all right? Now, with that part being said, okay, this is how I'm, I'll tell you right now, I'm not the best recruiter ever, okay? There's people on these calls that on this call that have way more success than I do when it comes to tap rooting. They have way more success than I do. I'm sorry, when it comes to uh, phase one. Way more success when it comes to you know recruiting. Way more success when it comes to prospecting, okay? Now with that part being said, the one thing I'm amazing at is tap rooting. I wanna be very specific on one thing though. You need to know how to do both. So don't ask me, Cash, can I tap root, right, instead of going into phase one? The answer is always gonna be no, all right? You need to always be in phase one. Now, tap rooting is what's gonna help you scale your business, grow your business very, very efficiently, and hopefully very, very quickly. So get great at the skill of tap rooting. I've realized in um, our, spe our specific niche in I am and all this other stuff that 
we are, we, I have not really seen a lot of people do a tap rooting training, and I think that it needs to be done. So that's why we're here, right? So tap rooting, okay? Uh, tapping into a, the newer member's market or network. Now it doesn't have to be the newer member. Now with that part being said, okay, when do we want to do this? The answer is going to be, we want to tap into their, their, uh, their newer market at, at, at the maximum of 24 hours. 24 hours is when we want to tap in. That's the, ma the maximum time that you want to take before you start getting into their market. Before you, I'm sorry, um, yeah, you want to wait at least 24 hours before, I'm sorry, before, why did you say that? You want to go get into the market and at least 24 hours, right? In at least 24 hours. If you can do it now, then do it now. Okay, so what the next thing you want to do, okay, is you want to be asking, who can you put me in front of right now? Who can you put me in front of now? All right, who can you put me in front of right now? That is, the, that is going to be the key word that can take you from zero to 100 very quickly, okay? So I want to give you a story really quick. When I first started, I don't know if Hazley's on here, all right? I don't know if Hazley's on here. Hazley, are you on here by any chance? You're on here? Now, Hazley was there when we accidentally did this. So when I first came in, I was excited, right? I was excited. And I brought, in, I brought in somebody. When I brought in this individual, what ended up happening was, is I said, yo, you, you know, who, can, you, can you bring someone over right now? He said, yeah, I can. I said, okay, cool, right? So he brings someone over to the house. Now that person comes in, showed him the business. I was excited and I, went, I didn't know what I was doing, right? Write this down, by the way. Uh, the newer member usually does the correct things because they're naturally excited. If you're excited, if you can keep them excited, they kind of naturally do these things, which is why you want to ask them, who can you put me in front of right now? Because they're naturally doing the, they're naturally doing the, uh, the perfect invite. They're naturally, be, they're naturally in a hurry. They're naturally asking for someone to come over right now, getting it done. So I want to take advantage of that moment. And so when I was there, okay, again, I didn't know this at the time. I called, so, I mean, I called him, he came over, signed that person up. I said, who can you put me in front of right now? He ended up bringing someone else. That person signed up. Then I said again to the, the, the person that signed up, can you put me in front of somebody? He said, yeah. He ended up calling like three other people. Those three people came over. This is in one day, all right? Those three people, people came over. I said, they, they signed up. It got to the point where this is where actually Hazley came from. It got to the point where literally, all right, literally, you see this room, okay? Literally, we filled up an entire living room on accident. My first event ever, that my first home event that I've ever spoke at was an event that we at, that I like literally was tap rooting so fast and I didn't know I was doing it that it got to the point where I was just speaking in front of a whole bunch of people at an unplanned event. All right, at an unplanned event. So it was so many people that came in. At first, I was doing one on one, one on one. I'm like, hold on, bro, I'll come over there in a minute. It got to the point where there's so many people that I just had to say, you know what? Everyone just go there. I stood in front of the room. We didn't have presentations at the time, and I did a presentation. We didn't have a slideshow or none of that, and I did the presentation like that. Why? Because I said, who can you put me in front of right now? Now, what a lot of us are doing is we're waiting. And I'm going to be honest with you. You can do this, and I actually recommend this. You can actually do this before the launch. You can do this before the launch, okay? You can do this before the launch. I'm not gonna get into how, all that other stuff, but if someone's naturally excited or whatever, they've already seen the plan, they know it's network marketing, why would I not just say, hey, you know what, can you bring someone right now? Why would I not ask that question? Get in the habit of asking that question. You can do this before the launch. Before the launch. This is something you must add into your business. I'm gonna go into a lot of detail. I'm only going over the basics right now. I don't know how long this webinar is gonna be. I don't give a fuck about the time. If you are worried about the time, get off the call, okay? So with that part being said, all right, you, you can do this before the launch. Now, the next thing that I wanna be thinking is, right, 
is how can I, right? This is how I want to look at their markets, right? So I want to be looking at like this. Okay, you have your warm market. And then you have your cold market. Okay? You have your warm market. You have your cold market. And then you have something that's called a hot market. All right, and you have something that's called a hot market. And I want to be thinking, I want to be thinking in terms of this. Now, that's going to lead me to my next thing. So let's look at this. Now, this is going to be you. All right? I don't know why I'm doing a fucking square, but you know, I'm sick, I'm sick of circles lately. So this is going to be you. Now, you're going to be at the top of this pyramid, <laughs> right? Cool. So this is going to be you. Now, what we want to do is we want to be thinking, where's momentum at? So what did I tell you that the markets were? We had the warm market, we have a cold market, and we have a hot market. So let's go based off of this individual right here. Let's just say this is a new member, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not doing the legs right now. I'm, this, this next step is gonna, this square that I'm gonna do right now is gonna represent a market, okay? It's gonna represent a market. And so what, it is, what it's gonna look like is this, all right? This one on the left, let that represent, right, your hot market. All right? Now let this, right, represent cold market. All right? Cold market. So I really want to be thinking more like this stuff. And this is a market. This means this is a pool of people, right? This is also a market. Now, with that part being said, this is your hot market. This is the newer members' warm market. So what does that mean? All right, what does that mean? What does that mean, right? So you got you, we got the newer member, we got the, the two markets, then we got the hot market, we have the hot market, and the warm market, and we have the cold market. You with me? So. With that part being said, all right, is the, is the chat box disabled or no? I don't want it disabled. If the chat box is disabled, make sure it's not disabled. I don't, I don't care about little peasants in the chat room. All right, so let's go. So with that part being said, look. Now, what I want to know, what I want you to know right now is, right, your, right, your newest person's warm market is your hot market. Your hot market. Right, your hot market is the newer members' warm market. So what does this mean? That means we want to live here. And if we can get here in, the, in 24 hours, all right, then what's gonna happen? You have a business that's always exploding. So the question is, you wanna, re, you wanna reverse, you want to, you want to, uh, you want to start from there and reverse backwards. What's the word I'm looking for right now when you start for, reverse engineer, thank you. Right, you wanna reverse engineer. Now, when I say you wanna reverse engineer this, I wanna be thinking, okay, how can I live inside the hot market? Well, great question, I'm glad you asked, right? So, what we wanna do now is, wouldn't it make sense to ask, who can you put me in front of right now? Yes, now guess what's the next thing is, is home events. And this is still more basics right now. Home events, okay? So write this down if you should know this already, but an amateur joins a business, a professional launches the business. So if an amateur joins a business and the professional launches a business, if I am the mentor, which I am, if you are the mentor, which you are, then you should know to say you need to throw a home event and launch your business. 
Because if you, if your job as a mentor is to cut the learning curve. And so they're not going to come in and know that they're supposed to be launching their business. It's your job to make sure that they launch. And guess what happens when you launch things? You get a lot more momentum. And so what you want to start doing is you want to start, the second someone comes in, you want to get them to launch. How, and you want to get them to launch inside their hot market, inside their war market, which is your hot market. The, it's your hot market because the hot market moves a lot faster. And so what we want to do is we want to throw a home event. Because if you throw a home event, guess what? You're throwing a home event, right, right into the hot market. So now guess what? You are now launching. Every single time you have a home event, you're launching, right? They're, they're launching their business every single time inside your hot market. So what does that mean? That means you always have momentum every single time. Now, if you put this in the launch process, you will always have momentum. So here's the thing. I'm not going to hit Chairman 50 off hotel events. I'm hitting Chairman 50, right, off home events. Do you understand that? Okay, yes, a lot of people want to be the person speaking. You know I've never spoke at a big hotel event in my entire life? Not ever, okay? Everybody wants to be that person, but I don't care about that. I'm not too good to be in the living room. So you've gotta start getting in the living room. Now with that part being said, home events, let's go, I wanna go into more of this. So look, doesn't it make sense that we throw a home event inside your newer member's house, okay? So must be in the, the newer member's house. Must be in new member's house, right? Must be in new member's house. Okay, now the next thing I want you to know is why should it be in their house? Because their friends and family have been there before. They've been there before, right? So why does that matter? Because we want to, sit, we want to sit, set people up for success, not for failure. And so everybody on this call has been to their friend's house or has had their friends over at their house, right? So isn't it a lot easier to get your friend to go somewhere that they've already been? The answer is yes, right? So they're comfortable going there. Instead of having to invite someone to a random place or whatever, a random Starbucks, it's a lot easier for you to say, hey, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, invite someone to my house. Hey, what's up, Drake? So, you know, my name, um, you know, my name, right? Hey, what's up, Drake? So guess what? I'm actually gonna be launching something at my house today. So just go, come over at 7 p.m. That's all they gotta do. It's so much easier because Drake's, we don't have to talk about the address. We don't have to talk, all we gotta do is lock in the time. And they're coming over, okay? What's it about? Trust me, just come. Well, what's it about? Trust me, just come. What's it about? Trust me, just come. The trust me, just come is the answer, okay? Trust me, just come, all right? So they, since they've been there before, they're more likely to go there again, and it's a lot easier. So now the newer member, is, we're setting them up for success. Now we're launching, all right? We're launching into the hot market, into the hot market. So we're launching into the hot market, and then guess what else, right? Guess what else? We're also tap rooting. We're also tap rooting. Now, if you guys have seen any of my trainings, there's something that's called the campfire effect. I'm not going to get into the campfire effect right now. But what the campfire effect kind of is, is it's placing for momentum. And so guess what? What happens with, since they're already in their hot market and they're inviting their warm market, what's gonna happen is the people that are coming over, they already have a type of culture with these people. They already have sayings with their family. They already have like a certain handshake with their friends. They already have that certain good energy with those people. So when they come in and they do this together, you're gonna get a lot more momentum. So now they go to their friend's house, they launch, let's just say one person signs up. Well, guess what? Let's just say it's the best friend that signs up. Those two are gonna work a lot harder now because they're best friends. And at best friends, it's easier to get them to visualize the future. Family members, it's, it's, it's easier to get them to visualize the future. Now, a lot of you are gonna be thinking, well, not my family or whatever. It doesn't matter about us. It matters about most people, okay? And we wanna set, set them up for this. We want to launch 
the business. So if we want to get uh, get in there, right? What we want to do is we really want to. Oh shit! Ooh, hoo, hoo. I caught it. Oh, I just caught my laptop. I hope we got that shit on camera. <sighs> did you guys? Did you see? I'm hey. Hey. I mean, just really quick. Can we all take a fucking second for that one? Because I don't know if y'all seen where you were, but I literally like caught you like literally my hand hit the ground type shit. That was like some Superman shit. <laughs> that threw me off. Campfire effect, best friends. Uh, tap ring. Oh, wait, now, <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to set this home event in the first seven days. Now for a lot of people in Dallas, they already know all of this. A lot of people in ATMs, they know all of this, right? But a lot of you that are brand new within ATMs and Dallas still might not know this exactly. So it's really good to know this. It's also, if you can't teach it the way I'm teaching it right now, then you need repetition, right? You need repetition. So in seven days, you want them to throw their event. And this is just launching, okay? This is just launching in, into a taproot type of thing here. Okay, I'm gonna go into the other techniques. But seven days, boom. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is you will then have a culture at some point of seven days of home events. Wouldn't it be nice to have an organization that's running seven days a week? Wouldn't it be nice to have an organization that's having home events seven days a week? Now, in Dallas, sometimes we have two. Sometimes we have three. Now the teams are getting, now get this, at some point, you might have a team and a thousand people in one area to the point where, right, first everyone's going to one event, but then your team gets so big that in one day, this, this, this team over here is doing a home event, that team over there is doing a home event, and now you have about five events going on in one day in one city. Around, and then you got it going on around the world. So what you got to do is you got to be thinking like this. The reason why we have home events going on, like honestly, all around ATMs around the world is because of this. Is because of this. That is our culture. Is momentum is the culture. So seven days a week of home events and it'll, it'll eventually turn into where you're having 14 home events a week in one city, just one city, just one, okay? So that's gonna be that. Now, the next thing I wanna look at is this. I want you to understand why it's so important to, and I want you to understand why it's so important, okay, for you to tap root. Because look, this is gonna be again your newer member, all right, new member. And why it's so important, I'm sorry, to be in the, the, uh, the warm market, which is your hot market. All right? So it's almost like a little computer thing when it's like literally when you're doing a computer programming or whatever. So it's literally like if if this person knows someone and can have a home event inside their house within seven, uh, within seven days, then momentum, right? Then momentum. Or what happens is they don't get anybody and then guess what? The next step is cold market. The next thing that's gonna happen is cold market. Now, there's nothing wrong with being in the cold market, but the problem about cold marketing is, is now we have to teach a newer member, right? How to get outside their comfort zone how to recruit, how to, then we got to build their confidence. Then we got to, now it turns into a game of, is it the person that I just brought in going to be mentally equipped already? Because we have to, get, we have to take people, right, that are coming in for where they are, where they are in their life. And so sometimes we have somebody that's coming in that is not developed, right, enough for us to, to, uh, to teach them the cold market, right? Because what happens is that they quit before they even get started. And that's why what we want, we all want, that's why what we want to do is focus on that warm market. 
because the cold market is more of a skill set market. It's a skill set market. It's a skill set market. Okay? And I'm not saying it takes a lot of skill, but I'm just saying it does take a little more time. And we don't want to do a little bit more time. Okay? So you've got to be thinking when someone comes in like this. You've got to be thinking like this. Because a lot of us, when they come in, we move slowly. So within the first 24 hours, you have got to start moving very quickly. All right? You've got to start moving very quickly. So with that part being said, I want to give you one last visual on this thing here and show you essentially what it really should look like. So you have, okay, you. Now what I'm doing right now is this is going to be, okay, uh, this is going to be they're in the business again. You got a new member, all right? This is not, now these people coming in right now is just going to be the market. They're not, they're not yet in, right? They're not yet in, okay? Now let's just say, okay, you have a, a star, okay? You have a star right here. You have a star right here. So what's going to happen is you can actually tap root, tap root, tap root. So you can literally go through this person, this new member here, to this, that new member brings you to that person. You add this person on Instagram, okay? You add that person on Instagram right here. And then you go through and you can find that star right there, right? And so you're, what you're, you're learning to tap in to these markets. This person is going to represent like a million people hypothetically because you can go in there forever. So we're never thinking, I just want one member. We're always thinking, I want the whole body. I don't want a body. I mean, I don't want a head. I, I want a body. I want to eat. I want to feast. I don't just want one person. Yes, if you can get the head, then you get the body. But at the same time, what I'm saying is, I, o I don't only want the head. I want the whole thing. So you've got to learn to start re moving through people. Now, with that part being said, let me teach you a couple of tricks, right? Now, when I, ask, when I get somebody that's new on my team, the first thing I, I want to do, mm, boy, man. Okay. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we just, I was just kind of, might maybe cut this one out, not now, yeah, I was like, cut, come cut this real quick. One second. You right, read on it? Right. Okay, so, and it might just be that spot, but, okay, so cool, so you know what we do with those, so not going to get into it exactly, right, but we have, we launch our business and all that other stuff, now get this, right? Once we launch our business, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is, is the the member, the new member. Okay, let's just say uh, Chad. Hypothetically, Chad. Cool. Now when Chad does the, the guess what? Now Chad does. He's gonna have that. He's gonna have what? It's gonna have likes. It's gonna have. Comments. Now, what, what do we want to do? It's actually really simple, but we, no one ever thinks about this. What do we want to do? Wouldn't it make sense? Would it not make sense to go look at Chad's likes to see who's not in the business? Wouldn't it not make sense? Because Chad's a new member. So the people that are liking Chad, that means they're supporting Chad. They're, su they're commenting. They're supporting Chad. So what are we doing? We're taprooting. Just off of that. Just off of that alone, we're taprooting. A massive fucking taproot. A, a massive fucking taproot. Now, what's the next thing that we can look at as well? The next thing I like to do is I like to look at tags. Tags. The newer members' tags. Why? Because they've been tagged. If you're not listening, so help you fucking God right now, okay? You ain't gonna make no fucking money. I'm the most important person in your life right now, I'm just being honest. Because the shit I'm teaching you right now, you've never learned it before. No one's teaching it, because no one's taught me it. Do you understand what I'm saying, okay? So this is the shit that nobody's teaching. 
You ain't gonna get it anywhere else. Promise you. So with that part being said, you wanna go to tags. When you go to tags, guess what? You're gonna find their best friends on there that's tagged them, their old friends that's on there that tagged them. You might find out that they were in a network marketing company before. There might be people that were tagging them. I see this all the time. They, they might not have been in a network marketing company before, but their friend wanted them to, so their friend tagged them inside that network marketing company. Do you understand the power of going to tags? Probably not. Tags is one of the most valuable assets that you can go to. The tag, right? Tap root in the comments. Tap root in the likes. Yet yeah, then, obviously, right? You have tap rooting. All uh, right, tap rooting the followers. Okay. And by the way, one thing I do a lot on the tags. Okay, is. I go to the, that, the person that they tag. So let's just say, hypothetically, um, Chad was tagged in, okay, Sarah's, Sarah's picture. Then what I'll do is I will then go to Sarah. And I will also go in, then I will go into, right, Sarah's tags. Why? Because they probably have the same group of friends. So now, if, if, I, if, if, I, if, I go, if I go to Chad's, Chad has a tag. Then I go from the tag, right? And then uh, I see Sarah tag Chad. Then I go to, uh, let's just say on Sarah's um, um, fan page or whatever, what, what's happening? Let's just say Sarah is in, um, let's just say Sarah is in another company. I'm not going to name any names right now because this might go on the internet, right? So let's just say another company. Now guess what? Now, if Sarah might be in another company, don't you think that she's gonna be tagged? Yeah, and in, inside the other company. So now, I just, I go to that tag, click on that, and now what's happening? I'm tapping into a whole market of network marketers. A whole market of network marketers. Do you understand what I'm giving you right now? I'm giving you a lot of information right now. I have a lot of value right now, okay? This is how you really build, okay? This is sauce I wasn't even planning on giving on here right now, all right? So you're tapping into whatever, it, because this could be NFL football players, right? Sarah, hypothetically, right? Let's just say it's Bob over here now. Bob is in, um, let's just say, the Arena Football League. But you go to the tags, Bob used to be in the Arena Football League, but he's best friends, right, with Chad Ocho Cinco. Chad Ocho Cinco, right, is tagged and blah, blah. You can just keep going through the tags. Not everybody has tags, but you want to take advantage of them. You want to take advantage of them. Start utilizing that. Now, the next thing is, is you can also go through their pictures as well. You can go through their pictures, their old pictures as well. You can go through them, look at likes. All you gotta do is find the likes and be like, huh, is this person in the company, right? It, if not, awesome. Now you're able to tap into that. So now what we have is the next topic, right? And this is what I call a reverse, a reverse tap root. It's almost like I'm about to retire, so some of the shit I shouldn't be teaching. All right, so a reverse tap root, right? Now again, this is something that I made up myself. Never gonna be taught it again, okay? Because I just, this is just how my little fucking mind be working, all right? So what I wanna be doing is learning to reverse tap root. What, what is a reverse tap root? Now, a regular tap root, typically what it means is we're just going through someone and what it means is, hypothetically, right, let's just say um, Sarah comes in. When Sarah comes in, right, what's gonna happen is, right, she bring, puts me in front of somebody and I keep, kinda, I keep going through Sarah. I go through Sarah and Sarah brings in Bob or, or, or gets me in front of Bob. And then we build a relationship with Bob and sign Bob up, hypothetically, right? So it'll look like this. It'll be like, uh, hypothetically, me or you, and then it'll be Sarah, all right, and then it'll be Bob, 
okay? And that's just going to be an arrow, right? That's just going to be an arrow going straight down. That's typically a regular tap root, right? Average, you're just going through people. You're just going through people, all right? You say Brittany or Brit, whatever, down there, okay? Now, what a reverse tap root is, what a reverse tap root is, is this, is we, like, we go through a tag, hypothetically. Now, let's just say Sarah, we bring in Sarah, I'm gonna put a star next to Sarah, she's the only one that's in the business, these two are in the market down here, okay? These two are in the market down there. So now let's just say, okay, Sarah comes in. And when Sarah comes in, okay, let's say, say she doesn't want to talk to anybody. Do you all ever have these people that they don't want to talk to anybody, but they might have a good market that you want to tap into, right? Do you all ever have that? They don't want to talk to these people and all this other stuff. Okay, I've had this problem a lot, and the reason why we, we came up with this thing right here is because of that exact reason. Because I don't want to sign up Sarah and lose a whole great market. So what is it that I want to do now? Okay, well, what I want to do is I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, with, let's just say, Brittany down here, hypothetically, or Bob, or both, okay? I'm going to say, let's say these are the two major superstars over here. Right? These are two superstars. So what can I do? Sarah never talks to them. Keep this in mind. Sarah's never talked to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add Bob. I'm going to go add Brittany. Myself. Because I'm aware of who they are. So I'm now tap rooting, yes. But I'm not, going, I'm not using Sarah to help me. Yet yet okay so now what do I do now guess what the problem that we're gonna have now is this Bob and Brittany are not going to trust me as much as they're gonna trust Sarah okay and uh, so the quicker we can build trust the quicker we can get a sign up yeah I tapped all the way the fuck here the quicker we can get uh, we can build trust the quicker right we can get a sign up now with the happy part being said I want to get a for sure sign up as quick as possible because I'm always going to be assuming that Sarah I'm always going to be assuming that this person's quitting I assume everyone's quitting that's how I move I'm, I'm not I'm not look I'm not being negative it's business though I want to be moving like someone's going to quit because if I move at that pace I will then have a faster pace and I can help them. So without part being said, Sarah's never talked to them. I want to get through them. I need to build a relationship. Or I, I'm thinking, how can I get trust as quick as possible? So what happens is, is I go add Bob. I go add Sarah. Now, I act as if, right? I act as if Sarah doesn't exist when I'm talking to both of them. I'm building a little bit of rapport slash relationship with Bob and Brittany. Right? With Bob and Brittany, without Sarah. Now, as I'm doing this, when it starts getting closer to business talk, now guess what I do? I'm now going to be like, oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm going to be like, oh, so you ever heard of Forex, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? I think my friend Sarah does this. Or I could say, let's say that doesn't get offered. I could say, you, you know what? I noticed that you're following Sarah. Do you know Sarah? Right? This is after business gets brought up. Okay? Do you know, like, do you know Sarah? I know you're following her. Yeah, I do. That's actually one of my close friends. That's actually one of my sorority sisters. That's actually my brother's best, blah, blah, blah. They say that to me. Now, what I'm going to say, I'm now going to edify Sarah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, that's crazy. Sarah, right? Sarah's actually killing the business right now. I actually mentor her. So what am I doing? I'm doing a reverse tap root because I'm, I went down here, I went down here, and I'm pushing the sign up back to Sarah because they're going to sign up with Sarah because they trust Sarah more. So I'm peaking, I'm doing all the work, I'm peaking the interest, I'm getting them very interested, then I'm pushing them to Sarah, then I'm pushing them to Sarah, and then I go hit up Sarah. If Edgar Fuentes is on this call, if um, Julio is on this call, this is how we got them, right? I was, I was reverse taprooting the shit out of Edgar. 
Now we have a team of over 150 people over there. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Because of Reverse Taproot with Dre and me and Julio, right? And Edgar. Because of the Reverse Taproot. Like, there's no one's gonna teach you this, okay? So now what happens is I do all the work. Then I go hit up, right? I go hit up Sarah and I say, hey Sarah, just so you know, now I game plan with Sarah. I know you've been struggling a little bit. I've actually, are you familiar with Brittany? Yeah, I'm familiar with Brittany. Okay, well, with that, um, with that part being said, I just talked to Brittany. I think she's a little, little interested. You should hit her up. You should hit her up. She's already seen the information, all right? All, but when you talk to her, just really edify me and let's hop on the call. So I reverse tap rooted now. And now, right, because, because these people, Brittany and Bob are gonna trust Sarah, guess what happens? Right? They're now hot, way more likely to sign up. Way more likely to sign up. Way, okay? Way. Now, with that part being said, so that's, a, that's the reverse tap group. Oh my God. Can you give me a water? All right. Sorry, these trains will be taking a lot out your boy. Now, the next thing I want to talk about really fast is just a, the small little basics, okay, when we're tapping. Now, there's other things that you can do. And this is something that a lot of people talk shit about me for, but I would do a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls in which, to this day, I still do these calls with my team. And I call them tap root calls as well, right? This is something that Drake does a lot. This is something that anyone that we mentor should be doing a lot, right? And th what this is, is I will, let's just say, right, you have a bigger team like me, you have a bigger team like Drake, right? You have a bigger team like a lot of individuals that, that are on this call. You're not gonna be, a, be the one every single time, right? To, to be able to tap it within the first 24 hours once you have a bigger team. So what you wanna do, is let's just say Drake says, hey Cash, we have an, in shit, we're doing this today. We're doing this, or something like this today. So after this call, we're doing this. Now that I'm thinking about it, what's gonna happen is, it, shit, that's crazy. What's gonna happen is, is we have somebody pass us the, the juicy stuff, since now we're bigger leaders. And so we're gonna, we're gonna get maybe, let's just say you're a, a, a P2K hypothetically. You still are not gonna be able to see everything. That's why you teach your team how to tap root within the first 24 hours. They might come back, right? They're sifting through this hay with you, right? And then what's gonna happen is, right? The needle in the haystack, they're fine. They're gonna come back and say, hey, it might be in this patch here. You're then gonna schedule a call, a one-on-one -on -one and tap root, right? So you get on that call right now, right? You get on that call and you get on there and you start asking the correct questions on this call. So let's just say Drake, Drake hypothetically says, hey Cat, can you get on this call with somebody who's, um, I don't even want to shoot too big because I want to be, I want to make sure that we're on your guys' uh, like level right here and I don't mean it like that. But let's just say uh, somebody that is um, a D2 football player, okay? So Drake says that to me, I'm like, cool, let me get on the call, all right? Keep in mind this person's already signed up, the D2 play, uh, football player. But he might not want wanting to be working a lot. Maybe he doesn't want to grind or whatever. So we schedule the call with, um, let's just say, um, Dre. Let's just say, say his name is Dre, right? Now, we get on the call with Dre. Now, it's going to be me, Drake, and Dre. Now, what I do is I give them a little bit of mentorship on this call. A little bit of mentorship on this call. All right? I, I train them up a little bit. I build a relationship with them. I build a relationship with them. This is why, okay, and I'm gonna be honest, in my opinion, no, that's not opinion, this is a fact, Drake Dennison is the best at doing this. This right here. How is Drake a chairman and he knows more people than some of you know on your own team? I don't know, because he's doing this. He has, and then on top of that, he has better relationships. Why? Because he does this. He's always doing these calls, these one-on-one -on -one calls. 
And I remember when people were talking shit because they're like, Cash, you're always doing so many calls. You're always doing so many calls. You're always doing so many calls. Well, it's crazy because out of these calls, right, came, um, came freaking, let's just say, man, we got Edgar out of these calls. We got Julio out of these calls. We've got um, Cynthia out of these calls. We got, um, who, who else? We got, uh, who, who's on, who's on over there in Carry Squad? We got Jamie, right? All these people, all these, look, this is how you do this. Boom, okay? Then you build the relationship. Now what you do, and this is where the tap rooting comes in. I'm just gonna put tap root, okay? You tap root. And what do you do? When the newer person comes in, or when the Dre is new, I want you to pick his brain. Pick brain. Because they don't know. They don't know to think how, how to think correctly. You want to know what the most famous question ever that nobody ever, like somehow, they never think of this? It's this, look. This is a question no one asks. Do you know anyone that you know what I'm saying? Does network marketing. That's the famous fucking question that no one asks. That's a million dollar question that no one asks. Because a lot of people, a lot of people have, been, have either been been um, contacted by network marketing. I hear my mom has, my mom, does, oh yeah, my mom does it, right? We have people that are in our business that for, they've been in our business for a fucking year and they've literally never thought about their mom who's in network marketing. Literally, swear to God. Their uncle, oh yeah, my uncle actually has an enormous fucking business in network marketing. But there's a whole, we get that all the time. So what you gotta understand is when people, people do not think correctly all the time and our job is to think for them, that's why we're the mentor. So a lot of you are gonna assume that everyone's like, they're gonna just bring these people to you. You gotta go pick their brain. You should be asking, do you know anyone that's in network marketing? Now, what I will tell you is, I, will, I highly doubt I'll ever meet anyone better than me at doing this and is listening to what they're saying. And cause every time they will say something, Drake's like, oh my God, how'd you get that right? They'll say something like, um, they, might, they might be saying something about, uh, I'll, I'll say this, do you know what network marketing is? Let's say it's a brand new person. Why do I want to ask them that? If they say yes, how have they heard about it before? How have they heard about it? Because someone's talked to them somehow about network marketing. So just by me saying, do, have, do you know what network marketing is? If they say yes, I, will, I say how? How do you know that? It's being analytical, right? They will say things. I'm talking to people, I'm like, wait a minute, what did you just stop right there? What did you just say? I do that all the time. Like, wait, wait, stop. Stop, stop, stop. What did you just say? They're like, they're, they might be like, um, oh, I was just I was just saying that, you know, uh, I, I, I was just talking about, you know, um, huh? Like, I like, what's, what's, the, what's that company with um, that Bugs used to be in? Organo Gold. They might say something about Organo Gold or something like that. And I'm like, wait, what did you just say? They're like, oh yeah, the coffee thing, right? You gotta be like paying attention. So what do I wanna ask them? Have you been in any, any clubs? Have you been in uh, at, like clubs for football? Have you been in any school clubs, right? Um, do you know the captain of the football team, the cheerleader of the, of the, cheer, the, the top cheerleader of the squad, right? What do you, are, you a, are you on any of those things? Are you in college? Are you in a fraternity? Are you in a sorority? Do you know anyone that's been in network marketing? They say no. What about your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother? Does your brother know any network marketers? I'm tap rooting the shit out of them on this call, right? When I get, it sounds like an interrogation. I'm like, do you know? I'm like, are you sure? Nobody. Your, your brother's best friend, your sister. Have you seen anyone that's had Advocare on them? Have you seen anyone that's walk alive, uh, that's taking Herbalife product? Do you know anyone online? Because sometimes they don't even know it's a network marketing company and then their mom might have it at home. I have to think for them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm going through all of these things. I'm asking them all the questions. 
right? Okay, then I'm saying, then the next thing is, you have an accent, you have, like, I'm, I'm observing. I'll be like, you have an accent, you have an accent? Yeah, I'm actually not from here. Oh, wow, where, where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, I'm actually from Italy. Oh, you're from Italy, right? Did you know that, right? Who am I talking to you? Yo, hypothetically, Drake, did you know that? No, didn't know that. Wow, guess what? That's a whole nother market. That's a whole nother market. Right, okay, then the, other, the next thing I know is people that are typically from, um, from foreign countries that came and settled here, guess what? A lot of them stay close together. So get, like, they're in schools and all of this other stuff, right? They're in schools with each other, they're, they, they have groups, they're in this type of, this type of group where they feel, they feel stronger together. Russians, okay, um, Russians, uh, Africans, all right, anything, I can go on forever. They stay close together to feel safe. So once I, once I hear something like that, I'm immediately thinking, where are you from? Does your family know this? Does your family know that, right? Like, do they know these people? I'm thinking about all of this. I'm thinking about all of this, okay? The next thing you gotta, you gotta be thinking is, um, shit, I mean, I don't know. Just, just ask him a lot of questions. That's, I'm just gonna end there, okay? I'll ask him a lot of questions. Ask him a lot of questions. And then I, I, don't, I don't want to keep this, this training too long. There's one last thing I wanted to go over. Oh, tap rooting has a lot to do with duplication. If you are an efficient and effective leader at duplication, then this is what, something you should know, okay? And tap rooting, li listen, if you're a great leader, you should be able to tap root very quickly. I'll tell you right now, I am not the best recruiter, but I, I can tell you this though, I will tap root the shit out of anything that I see, okay? Like, yo, I, this is like, this is like, look, it would be like this, like literally, like this person comes in, boom, and I'm ready, right, boom, I'm down there, boom, okay, boom, right, boom. I mean, this is how I'm working, boom. Boom, boom, right? That's how I grow my squad. I'm like, look, look, I'm just boom, boom, boom. Then come over here, boom, boom, right? Because, right, personal momentum always exceeds group momentum. So that doesn't mean, that it doesn't only mean phase one. That means, that also means tap rooting. I go, boom, boom, boom. You should be, if you are P1K, P2, hold on, I'm sorry. If you are P150, P, uh, P600, P1K, P2K, P500, Chairman, Chairman 10, Chairman 25, Chairman 50, I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna keep doing it at Chairman 50. I don't know what I'm gonna do at Chairman 100, but what I will tell you is you should be doing these calls. And if you are at P1 and P2, you should have calls like, you should be doing 12 hours a day of fucking calls. If you're not doing a call with, or if you're not doing a call with a prospect, you should be doing a call with a team member, okay? And I'm not, I'm talking about sitting down in front of a webinar and tap rooting, training your team one-on-one, -on -one, right? All of that other stuff. Now, with this part being said, and this is gonna be the last thing when I'm talking about duplication here, is, look, I always see your cash, I have so much momentum, right? Or something like this, right? And when someone signs up, when someone signs up, let this represent P150 hypothetically for now, whatever. This is what we, this is the holding tank, right? This up here is gonna be the holding tank. Or the play, or the placement tree or whatever, holding tank, okay? So when someone comes inside, when you sign someone, it goes into this invisible world up here. Right? They go up there. But what it looks like in your downline, pay very close attention to what I'm telling you right now. What it looks like inside the back office, really, when they sign up, is it looks like this, okay? So you might have the IP 150, but let's just say you bring in three people today, hypothetically, it's gonna look like you have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna look like you have six legs. I'm gonna put seven just because I don't like that number, all right? Seven, it's gonna look like you have seven legs. So it's gonna, they're also gonna be in here, but it's gonna look like they're in here. Now let's just say, let's just say this is one of your main legs right here, all right? 
one of your main legs here, okay? And let's just say here, all right? That means this person, that person, that person, that person, okay? All of those people are personals. Personal, 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 all right? Now, what is that? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is what I hear. Wait, one, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. Look, this is so key. Listen to what I'm saying to you right now. Look, I always hear this. Cash, I have so much momentum. I'm about to smash P600. I'm two away. Does this person have momentum? No. The answer is no. But they got all of that today. All of that they got today. All of them. Why do they not have momentum? Only three people out of all that got duplicated. So you're telling me out of seven people that what it should look like this. That, so this tells me you're having a duplication problem. It's not even four levels deep. They're not even duplicating. There's something wrong. Are you being analytical about your business? Because this right here, right, I always look at leaders and I, listen, as a leader, again, I don't know if this is duplicatable or not, but this is what I'll tell you, this is how my brain works. This is how Drake's brain works, okay? And right away, I catch this problem all the time where people are telling me that they have momentum. And the quicker you can find this, the, the, the better you'll grow because if you think that you have momentum when this is going on just because you're about to hit a rank and you're not looking at it correctly, you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have a problem because what's gonna happen is none of them are actually getting to and free, none of them are gonna hit P150, and again, what do we assume? That everyone's gonna quit, so now what ends up happening is, next month, right, what's gonna happen is, boom, boom, right, boom. Now, you're at six people. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, half your team's gone. I thought you were in momentum. You weren't duplicating. You're looking at the numbers. You're not paying attention. You're looking out two away from the rank. But you're not really, you're not really focused on getting down there and saying, how can I get this person to P150? How can I get this person to P to, to P600? You're not thinking like that. You're just thinking, I'm about to hit my rank. That is what you're thinking. So this is right the fucking art of tap rooting, the science of tap rooting. This is my fucking gift to you because this is how you really fucking build. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot of people that are at the position that I'm at, the better, or a, a bigger position that I'm at, but I'm gonna be real with you, the reason why, right, no one's teaching this shit is because I can only teach you what I've learned, right? I don't go around, like what I'm saying is, is, right, we really fucking build, is what I'm saying. Like, we really started from the gutter. There was no handouts. There was no, there was no, hey, Cash, if you sign up, we're gonna drive this fucking leg down for you. This was like the real shit. And so, if, you got, if you're like, I've never seen this before, that's because no one's teaching it. Because no one's actually building. So what you should do is stop looking at hype and pay attention to who you're, to who you're listening to. Because GoPro, just listen to GoPro, if I would you, that shit ain't gonna take you to the top. You've gotta get in and start treating this like a business. Does it look like I haven't done this shit before? This is all I do. This is what, this is building. This is like fucking Legos. You understand what I'm saying? Building this shit. So I'm gonna wrap this shit up, but right now, okay, Right now, I gotta do my, my, my last rant on fucking mindset really fast. Right now, you better look through, make sure you're tap rooting. You should be on 12 hours of fucking calls a day. If you're not working like at your actual job or whatever, your ass should be in the trenches. Now, we just had the situation going on with my dog. And I've been saying this, your why has a time limit. Your why has a time limit. And so, with that part being said, that means at some point, 
at some point, you're going to be in a position where money is going to matter. You're going to be in a position where money is going to matter. And so a lot of you, you don't have a time. You feel like you don't have a time limit on your why. And you know, if anyone's been on the squad with me, right, from the last three years, you've always heard me teach this since my grandma and my mom and my, and my sister passed away and before then. Because I knew when she went into a nursing home that she had a time limit. I knew I had a certain amount. Of, the reason why I'm in I am was because I was busting my ass to get her out of the nursing home and I failed. And then I started the your why has a time limit training. And now what you've got to be thinking is some of you, right, you think that your why doesn't have a time limit because you're at home, right? Your mom is watching TV. She's fine. She's fucking healthy, right? Your dad, your dad just cussed her ass out, right? Your dad's good. That's what you're thinking. So you're going out and you're drinking, you're partying, you're on fucking Tinder, you're on fucking Netflix, you're doing all this other shit. But what you're not doing is to act like your wife had a time limit because you're waiting for something bad to happen before you start. Now, if I waited to make a lot of money before Crixus got hurt, got sick, or whatever, he wouldn't be here. Some of you are going to wait until your why is in the hospital, and then you're going to turn your shit on. And the problem is, is it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. So you've got to be working right now because it's not, it's not a matter of if you're going to need money. It's not a matter of if your why is going to need you to, to have money. It's a matter of when. And I'm going to tell you right now, Crixus was just fine three days ago. Then the next day, I'm saying, you got, I'm hearing, you got to put your dog down. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? And my dog ain't no just dog for me. If that dog would have died, I would have been like, no, fuck that, like, I'm out, type shit. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Because I'm still going through a lot, I just had my family die, if that dog would have died, no. Right, now nah, I couldn't have taken it. So what I'm telling you is, you've been looking at your why, like, you don't know if mom or dad's gonna have a heart attack tomorrow, you don't know if your brother or sister is gonna get hit by a car, and then you need to have the fucking surgery. Right? The surgery, but you can't give them the best, you can't give them the best surgery. You can't do these things because you chose to fucking sit on your ass and say, I didn't feel like grinding today. Well, guess what the fuck's up? Life isn't going to care about that. So I put my work ethic in. I did what I said I was going to do. I did some alpha shit. Okay? And I dropped the fucking car on my dog. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's on my dog. I, I swear to God, if you were with me, you can ask anyone that was with me, I swear to God, I literally called the vet and I said, what do you need from me? I said, I will give you, I said, here's my card, it's got plenty of fucking money on it, okay? Use it for, I don't even want you to call me. Just go ahead and run the fucking numbers up and save my fucking dog, do you understand? That's what I said. I said, here, here, I'll sign whatever you need, just take my card. I don't want to miss a call. I don't want you to have to wait for me. You save my fucking dog's life. I don't care about money. Save my dog, right? I need him. You save him. That's what I did. And for some of you, you're waiting to be like, oh, let me hope that I can get enough money by then. I'm saying I knew it was done because guess what? If you stay ready, you ain't got to fucking get ready. You understand what I'm saying? So right now, where a massive momentum the whole company is, if you're not in momentum, right, personal momentum always exceeds group momentum. We're popping the fuck off ATMs around the world, okay? And now guess what, right? We're, we, we popped in, what, four chairmen, all right? I don't know how far out I am from Chairman 50, but let's just say 72 hours or so, okay? That shit is done. We're gonna obliterate that motherfucker. Then we're gonna go smash Chairman 100. We're gonna go, we're gonna go smash more chairmen, all right? And we're not stopping. We're just starting this shit. And you guys are going to go get your why the same way that we just got ours. 
you guys, right, you women, you men, or anyone else on this call that really wants it, here it is. Because no one else is teaching this shit. No one else has the system that we have. No one else has leaders in the trenches like the chairman that we have, like the 5Ks and 2Ks that we have, right? Our 1Ks are like chairman. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you talk to a P1K, they sound like a chairman 50 up in this shit. Do you get what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you is, is it's fucking time right now to get your ass on the whiteboard. It's time for you to call through your team. It's time for you to add some culture. It's time for you to pop this shit the fuck off. Because if it's not now, then it's when. And if it's when, right, then you're never gonna do it. So what I would do is get started today. I love you guys. This is Cash Cartier, the best to ever fucking do it. Walking ATMs isn't everything. It's the fucking only thing. I'll see you at the top. Bottom is way too crowded. Let's get it.